Hi, folks. Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I want to apologize to all you folks that uh, subscribe to my services, but uh, Google uh, has partially blocked me, but I've had trouble with, with this Microsoft thing. I don't have any data coming in. I can't send email. So the best thing I can do is to make it up to you here on the radio show. But by golly, I don't know when it's going to get fixed. I've been working on it for 12 hours. Well, I have it, but the folks that I've asked to work on it, and they're, they're, their hands are tied or up in the air, whatever it is. But anyway, they will get it fixed eventually. This chart comes from my good friend Rich Anderson. It's from Bank of America. Basically, uh, they're talking about bubbles. The problem with this chart, folks, is you'll remember it's missing a little spot in here called 1929. Uh, evidently, they didn't consider that as a bubble, but uh, anyway, that's uh, that's neither here nor there because the market went down for uh, what 27 years before it made the new high, and that high was up around 380 percent. So that was around 380 percent, 400 percent for the bubble for the dot com, and here we are at uh, roughly 417, moving higher here with the AI and all the other tech stuff. That's a moving around. We're very close to a 382 retracement in the E-mini S&P, folks. We came within two points at 56.10. So keep an eye on that because if it can close above there, that'll be a sign that, you know, maybe we've had some type of a little bit of a re reaction here. Now, one of the things that we're going to look, look at here, because I don't have regular charts, I have all the charts from the um, – newsletter and so we're going to go over those because we hit on friday we hit two standard deviations down in the nasdaq and that's why we're getting this 300 plus point rally here in the nasdaq because if we go below two standard deviations that's a really bad sign so it did hold up relatively well the dow jones is the weakest of the four uh, russell right behind that and then uh, NASDAQ being the strongest and then followed by, you know, the S&P. So that's what we're watching here today. And we'll have some questions that so we have new lines lined up today. So you won't have any trouble getting through today if you have any questions. 877-927-6648. So stay tuned and we'll, uh, we'll be right back.